A lot of my friends have asked me to share my recipe of tabbouleh. Today, this one's for you. The ingredients for tabbouleh are parsley, fresh mint, tomatoes, and green onions. Now for the vegetables in tabbouleh, we have to chop them very, very fine. We also are going to use bulgur, and bulgur is cracked wheat. Now for the spices in this tabbouleh, I'm going to use some salt, some black ground pepper, some cinnamon, and some allspice. For the dressing, I'm using fresh squeezed lemon juice and olive oil. Let's spice it up and mix it all together. When I make tabbouleh, I like to get the dressing ready first. And how I do that is I add all the spices to my bulgur and I put the lemon juice and the olive oil. So I'm taking my salt, my ground pepper, my cinnamon, and my allspice, and I'm gonna add them with the bulgur. I'm gonna take the juice of two lemons and add them also them all in there. And what's happening here is we're going to let the bulgur expand because with the liquid it has an opportunity to get puffier. And this is going to be the meat, so to speak, of the tabbouleh. It's delicious. There's two. Let's add two more. This is one of my all-time favorite salads. So refreshing. Summertime, wintertime, and it's a staple dish in any Arabic family. Let's get all those juices in there every last drop. And let's add our olive oil to this mixture. Very nice. And I'm just gonna do a nice little blend. Get them all evenly incorporated. I'm gonna set my bowl down, let it expand. And let's get all our veggies into my mixing bowl. Put it all in there. The green onions, the tomatoes, and I've got my fresh mint. It smells so good. And of course, the main ingredient, which is the parsley. Look how nice, beautifully fine chopped that is. Remember, we don't waste, we use every last drop. Let's give it a nice little whirl. Get them all incorporated together. Great. My bulgur and all the spices mixture have expanded. Now this is the consistency we're looking for. The lemon juice and the olive oil absorbed inside have allowed the bulgur to puff up. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add this to our veggies, mix it all in together, and then have some tabbouleh. Just pour it right over your veggies. In fact, why don't I just use my hands to get every little bit, every last drop of this mixture. Let's put our fork on the side. Let's just get right in there and spice it up. Look at that, beautiful. I've come up with another way of spicing it up. I had some fresh oregano that my mom gave me, and although normally we wouldn't use oregano in tabbouleh, I thought, why not? Let's spice it up. So I'm gonna add it with everything else and mix it all together, and then we'll enjoy some tabbouleh. One last little whirl. Oh, I'm already smelling the oregano. It's so strong, I love it. See how it comes out. You can't go wrong with fresh herbs, especially when they're hard to come by. All right, everybody, here's my tabbouleh. Looks so beautiful. I am not mad at all the colors going on in this salad. Mm. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm about ready to. And with all that, satin.